Hello, and uh, for those that are brand new to BSF, I'm Nanette Helm. I'm the teaching leader for the West Side, and I, I in a few weeks, you will see me uh, on the video, or you will see Kay Yoder, one of our substitute teaching leaders, or Mandy Comfer. We will all be lecturing at some point this year. But I want to start today by just really reflecting on the, the wonder of creation and that God himself has uh, done a wonderful thing in giving us this beautiful world. And we see it in the fall foliage and the, the beautiful temperatures we're having now. But when God completed his creation on the sixth day, he said it was very good. And that's because he created mankind. And he created us in his image. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit together worked to do all of creation, but it was very good when he finished you and I. I shared with the leaders yesterday a little at length about what it means to be made in his image. And in your notes, you'll have a wonderful section on it. And you don't wanna miss uh, that whole uh, page two. Here we learn that we're given the ability to reason. We're given the ability to have higher thinking and connection relationship with God and with others in a way that the, the marvelous animal kingdom does not have. So we need to recognize that we're made uh, superior to every other part of creation and we're made for purpose and that purpose, again, is to relate to God, to know him, and then to serve him, uh, to bring him glory with our lives. There's a profound statement from that second page, and I just want to say it to you, and you can find it in a little while. But it says, recognizing the image of God is stamped on humanity changes the way we view ourselves and others. We are God stamped, in other words. And you know, America today needs to learn this. We're in a culture of division and even hatred, and we need to see each other as God stamped, even those that don't yet understand it, emphasized yet. May we listen to this lecture today. May, may we lean in to our Lord and ask him for help to love and to serve, not only for God's glory, but to see his glory then uh, in others and uh, see the dignity, the, sacred, the sacredness of all of life from the unborn, you know, the most um, vulnerable, their lives count, all the way to the gray-haired ladies, um, myself being one of them, God values life, and he breathed it into mankind, also unique in all creation. And while you and I have breath, may we use our identity in Christ to lead others to understand that they are God-stamped, God-breathed. And, uh, you know, I, I personally wrote out one of the scriptures that helped me understand all of this being made in his image, it was uh, from our notes, one of the passages they led us to, and it was Colossians 3.12. And I'm an index card girl. I've been writing scriptures that God speaks clearly to me as I study his word. And I, I have a whole box full and, and trying to memorize many of them. But I'll tell you that Colossians 3.12 tells us we are to reflect Christ, his goodness, his compassion, his gentleness, his kindness, that's dressing for success. That's dressing to make a difference in our world. And our world sees that when we are dressed like Christ, in Christ. So love to all. Let's listen and learn today. God bless.